For Darren Waller, it's been a journey. It was TV's hard knocks that introduced us to Darren Waller, but it was life's hard knocks that introduced Darren Waller to himself. That's not a very great place to be. There's nothing fun about it. It's really lonely and dark. The guy, his story alone, we can all get moved by his story. I never want to lose sight of that for his whole career, where he's come from and what he's overcome. Let's go, everybody's running somewhere. Find a spot. I was in Baltimore. I was just like a vegetable. I was like getting high literally every day. Whatever I get my hands on, like opiates first, like oxy pills, stuff like that, uh, Xanax, cocaine, not caring about anything, like any kind of consequences or anything like that. Let's go, Waller. You all right? Get up, get up. I was failing drug tests and got suspended for a year. Like, didn't really have a lot of, like, value for myself. Two months removed from the HBO cameras and two years removed from rock bottom, Darren continues to put his struggles into perspective. I kept viewing myself as a failure because I didn't feel like I was measuring up, and that just drove me down deeper and deeper every day that I kept telling myself that. And then there you find myself, you know, on the brink of death pretty much. So it's like, you know, it's crazy how someone can get that you know, bogged down and it's like when everyone else thinks that their life is great. You're never immune to being back in a place where it could be rough, it could be dark, but it's like now I feel like I have better resources to handle it. And things are, are going well, but it's like I kind of keep a healthy image of where I was. It's just about enjoying my life and if I can help people in the process, then that's what I'm trying to do more than anything. Darren's personal evolution has made his professional evolution possible. From practice squad wide receiver to potential Pro Bowl tight end, he has emerged as one of the true up and coming stars in the NFL. I just remember it, like in Baltimore, when I first moved to tight end and just, just getting whipped by with two guys that are like Pro Bowlers. Football's tough. Sometimes you get blocked. I feel like in every aspect of football whatsoever, I feel like I've grown immensely. He's the best tight end in the NFL. How it works nowadays is we wait a couple years and then people start saying it, but he already is. What a catch made by Waller. He is having a great season. Waller won't testify to being the best player in the game, or for that matter, the best person in the game. But he strives to be both. It's always a battle to uh, stay confident, to stay uh, uh, like a constant uh, faith in myself. But as far as like wanting to use again, that's not that's not hard for me because I feel like I'm like I'm living with a perp like a purpose now. It's, I guess I'm a lot. Uh, tougher than I thought I was. I'm more in tune with myself. I'm a lot, a lot more self-aware. There's still days where it's not all the way there. It's not all bright and sunny, even though, you know, it may look like that on paper, but that's just life. It's like, you know, let's try to have more good days and bad days. In Alameda, Scott Reese, KTVU, Fox 2 Sports.